Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure wireless WAN on Vigor 2927 LAC router. So it's a quite surprising for everybody guys. So basically, I just want to give you some overview. Let's go and have a look. So what are the tasks that I am going to do in this lab? First of all, I am going to access the router with the default IP, username and password. And after that, I am going to configure the wireless WAN. So most of the time we heard about wireless LAN, but we didn't heard about the wireless WAN. So that's the beauty of your Dratec router, guys. So first I'll explain to you the scenario. Let's go and have a look here. So right now, in 2927 LAC router, let's say it's in my home, and already in my neighbor home, they have an existing router. That router is connected to the internet. And my existing neighbor, he already configured two SSIDs. One for 2.4 and other one for 5 gigahertz. And he just put some name, you know, like uh, my home, something. Okay, guys. So, basically what he has done, for internet access through Wi-Fi, my neighbor is going to use my home 2 and my home 5. There is a two SSIDs he configured there. So actually, assume that in my home, I have a Dratec router, but unfortunately, I don't have an internet connection, temporary. So that time, I have requested my neighbor, can you please share me your SSID along with my password? Then what he has done, he shared with me his SSID, and anyways, SSID is going to broadcast so that I can able to see that SSID. Okay, when I just open my mobile, when I go to the wireless, there I can see the SSID name. So when I click on that, it prompt me the password. So my neighbor said, this is the password. Okay, guys, the password is P, capital P at the rate SSW0RD. So usually what we are going to do, either I can use my laptop to connect by using this SSID and this password. Or else, in my mobile phone, I just select one of these SSID, either 2 or 5. Then after that, I'm going to enter and I'm going to get the internet connection. Right, guys? But unfortunately, actually, that internet connection, my entire family wants to use this. That time, how you can do it? That's what's surprising, guys, right? So that, you know, my plan of action is that my Wi-Fi router, it's here. My Dratec 2927 LAC router is here. This is acting as a gateway for all my home users. Let's say in my home, we have a kids, we have a wife, and everybody is trying to use, you know, they got the IP address from my Dratec router. So my Dratec router is getting acting as a gateway for my all internal users. But right now, I'm going to configure my neighbor Wi-Fi SSID and his password as a van. <laughs> That's the beauty of that one, guys. I'm going to do it here. So that, what I'm going to do here, first of all, in Dratec router 2927, in the behind, there is a two antennas are there, guys. So these antennas for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So that they are going to provide you the better signal strength. Make sure that whenever you are going to configure the wireless van connection then make sure that you should have a very good signal strength so first you need to take care of that part then after that what i'm going to do guys this is my brand new router and inside my brand new router right now there is no configurations at the moment so as i told you my previous video the default ip address for the Dratec router is 192.168.1.1 which is last 24 and the dhcp is enabled by default Okay, guys, so that once I connect my PC, I'm going to get the IP address from the same subnet like 192.168.1.x. I'll get some IP address. So I don't want to change this subnet, guys. So the, in this lab, mainly I'm going to focus it on wireless WAN. That's what my focus, guys. Okay, so let's don't waste the time. Let's go and access the Dratec router with the default IP. So I believe I got some IP address from my Dratec router. Let's go and ping it. I have a successful ping. And let's check what IP address I got it from my Dratec router. Let's go up. 
So it got the IP addresses 192.168.1.10. Then after that, open the browser. Okay, let's just open the browser. Then type that IP address, guys, which is 192.168.1.1. So as per my first task, what is my plan? I just want to access with the default IP and username and password. So the default IP address is 192.168.1.1, which is here. And the de my default username is admin. And my default password is admin. Let's go and do that. Then click login. So once you enter at first time, as I told you guys, for the best practice is always, you can just write, keep the right date and time. That's always is recommended. And also in my previous video, I show it to you how to upgrade the latest firmware. So since this is the latest firmware, which I got it from Raytech website. So now what I'm going to do now, let's go to the system maintenance. And from there, go to the time and date, and you can just change the time zone as Dubai. So it's a plus four guys, you can see here, Abu Dhabi and Muscat say okay. Then after this, I don't want to do any changes on my LAN settings. So I want to use the same subnet. I don't want to do any changes. But for my WAN connection, because you know why I want to do the WAN connection changes, let's go and check it here. I'm not getting internet guys, that's a problem. Even if you go and check it here on online status, just click on the physical connection. Right now it's not connected to any WAN interface. So what I'm going to do, the first thing is that go to the WAN and in the general setup, you can see here, there is a two radios are there, 2.5, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So for WAN 3, I'm going to enable it at the moment. So select the WAN 3, then after that you can click OK. The moment when I click OK, it will ask you to reboot. Then you can click OK now. It's perfectly is going to reboot. So meanwhile, for testing purpose, I just want to ping my Dratec router with continuous ping. So let's go and check it how much time is going to take. Congratulations, guys. It got below 40 seconds. I got my router back again. So I'm going to stop this. Then after that, just refresh the browser. I'm back to my login page. Enter the username and password. Click login, say OK. So now I'm going to configure my wireless WAN. So first step is that you need to go to the general setup and you need to enable this. Then after that, you can go to the internet access. Then if you see here the WAN 3, so I'm going to select here static or dynamic, then click on the details page. And first you need to enable it, guys. So this is one of the very important thing. You need to enable it. Then after that, obtain an IP address automatically. So because uh, when I'm going to connect my neighbor's Wi-Fi, SSID and password, I am going to get the IP address automatically. So this is, I'm already confirmed with him. So that's why I'm going to select and obtain an IP address automatically. Or else if you want to configure statically, you just specify the static IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. Then after that, what you are going to do, either you need to enter manually my neighbor's SSID or else you just click on AP discovery. Then click on scan here. Then you can see here, it's going to show it to you what are the SSIDs which is going to scan. Wow, there is a lot of SSIDs. I can see it here, guys. These are all my neighbors here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect Seishu home. Then after that, you can just click on add. Once you click on add here, see here, it's automatically the SSID is added, the MAC address is added. Actually, by the way, it's optional, guys, nothing to worry. And the channel is added and the security mode and encryption mode, everything is added. Now the pre-shared key that I'm going to enter, which is the password, guys. So I'm going to say password he already shared with me, that is capital P at the rate SSW0RD. Then after that, you can click OK now. Then say OK now. Now the fun part is going to start it, guys. So once it's going to reboot and it's going to comes back. So meanwhile, let's go and ping to my Dratec router and open one more window, guys. You can see here already 4.2.2 is running. Let's go and verify it for you for confirmation. So let's see, guys. 
whether I'm going to get the internet connection for my, from my Wi-Fi WAN connection or not. Let's go and check it now. How much time is going to take? So this time I'm not going to pass, guys. Let's keep it. Keep continue now. I believe it's going to take below 40 seconds I can able to get it. So still, I didn't get the internet connection. I'm really eagerly wait. And good thing is that I can see my router has come back, guys. And still, I didn't get the internet. Let's go and wait now. Don't worry about it. Let's go and see. There you go. You can able to see it, guys. Nothing to worry. Yes, you can see here. I got the internet through wireless. So let's go and log in now. Just refresh this page and type the username as admin and type the password as admin. So far, I didn't do any changes, guys. Now you can see here on my dashboard, I can see that I got the internet connection from my wireless fan, which is 2.4 gig. And my data router is going to act as a DHCP client. And it got the IP address 192.168.254.121. And this is the MAC address. This is the uptime, guys. And let's go and access some websites, www.retech.com. Thank you very much. And www.facebook.com. Thank you very much. And let's go and do the speed test, guys. I'm really interested to do speed test. Let's go and do that. I can say there is a speedtest.net website. Let's go and do that instead of this. Speedtest.net. That's the website, guys. Let's go and have a look how much bandwidth I'm going to get here. So click this. Oh, my neighbor is using do connection. Wow, super. Let's go and see it here. And this is his public IP, by the way. So, wow. See, guys. Through wireless, I'm getting this much bandwidth, guys. Let's go and check how much I'm going to get the download and how much I'm going to get the upload bandwidth. Let's wait now. Wow. See, guys, that's a download bandwidth, which is coming 55.33 Mbps. That's really good, guys. Yeah. And let's wait for the upload bandwidth. Let's go and see how much bandwidth I'm going to get it now. Wow, I'm going to get 26.38 Mbps, guys. It's enough for me. Until I'm going to get my main internet connection, at least I can manage it. So my family is happy now to get the internet connection. And we really thanks to Dretech that they are giving me a very good future. And also one more thing, in case if you want to connect with 5 gigahertz, yes, you can connect it. First, you need to activate here. Then after that, go to the internet access. Then you can see here right now it's not activated. That's why it's not showing. Then you can do this. And one more interesting, guys, you can see here by default, all these interfaces are belongs to the load balancing pool. That's one more interesting, guys. See, by default, all the Dratech WAN interfaces are belongs to the same load balancing pool. So in case, if you are using, this is your primary connection. Unfortunately, this connection is down. Then you can get the internet connection from your WAN 3. For example, if you connected one more internet connection, so these are all together is going to do load balancing. And also one more interesting, you know what to do, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you go with other vendors, they are expecting you do a lot of configurations, guys. But in Dratech, they made your life is very easy. So in case if one connection is down, then automatically the internet is going to connect through through another internet connection. So that's the beauty of that. You don't need to do much configurations on that. And also, if you guys see here, the mode by default is selected as IP-based. In case, if you want to do a link aggregation, this is one of the very interesting and very important feature, you need to select the session-based. That's only the changes you need to do, guys. Really, really thanks to Dratech now. You can go and see the physical connection. And it's saying that, Yes, WAN 3 is enabled and the line is wireless 2.4 gigahertz. That's my wireless WAN interface. And this is the IP address which I got it from my wireless WAN. And this is the SSID and this is the channel which is running. The signal strength is 100% fine. No issues at all. And this is the gateway of my neighbor. And I am acting as a DSCP client. This is my uptime and this is my TX and this is my RX. So that's the beauty of Dretech, guys. Thank you so much. I hope this video is very informative to you guys. And for the sales, please send us an email. Let's go here. 
please send us an email sales at datawise.com. For support, please send us an email support at datawise.com. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.